right, we're here at the last day of Red Center Nats. We're here with Ray, the 65 Mustang Fastback. It's a very cool car. We've seen it a few times in the past when we've been here at Alice Springs. But he's giving it a little revamp, mate. Tell us what the theme of the car is. Uh, I uh, recently restored this car, took it off the drag strip where I used to race super again, and uh, put it, I, I built it now this time to be like a day two rest, uh, day two muscle car. So it's, uh, it's like a brand new car with all the original equipment and all the original details with uh, parts on it that you could buy in 1965. Like the, uh, the over the counter Ford uh, three deuce set up for the intake, a set of hooker headers, Shelby rocker covers, a her shifter, and that's it. Everything else looks like brand new original stuff. So he would have been the king of the street in 1965. Yeah, that, that would have been a guy, you know, a young guy that, you know, just bought a Mustang, went to the speed shop and uh, bought a bucket load of parts and went home and bought the mod. Everything else still looks original. Yeah, right. Yeah. What's the combo briefly? Uh, the combo is a, it was a 289 that I stroked to a 331 and I put a uh, four speed original uh, 65 top motor four speed in it with a Hurst shifter. And it's got a uh, nine inch, it's an original nine inch out of 65 Shelby Mustang, uh, 350 ratio. And uh, these, uh, these rims here are the, uh, a new, uh, like a reproduction of the 60s style uh, mags that you get back in the day. They only just came out. So I had to, had to get the old style rims as well and, and the tires as well. So nothing on this car should look like anything from the 21st century. And it's got a nice dual single steel wheel exhaust on it with fairly stock. So just trying to keep it subtle, subtle but fun to drive. And today we found out that it goes very well to drag strips, even though it's supposed to be a street car. It's still good in the drag. So I was surprised myself by getting in the finals today. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Five, you know, five runs and one loss. And it, and it uh, went faster than I anticipated. Uh, so I broke out. Uh, this is the first time I've drag raced it today. So I had to learn how to do it all over again with a four speed. A lot harder than the old, old automatic. Yeah, so especially to be consistent. No, yeah, yeah, it wasn't consistent, but the other guys made a lot of mistakes and helped me out. <laughs> and how fast did you go? I got to 13-1 uh, uh, at 103 miles an hour. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank that, you. That was great. <laughs> and did you change rubber or still uh, I put rubber? my slicks on and I yeah. opened up the headers. Yeah. So that's all I did uh, to deviate ah. from the street. I took it down the street yesterday, I took it down the track yesterday with the full exhaust and the street tires on it. I just destroyed the tires in all four years. It was a waste of time, but it was fun. Uh, it's a beautiful <laughs> car, mate. Thanks, man. Yeah. And you're obviously not from around here. How long have you been well, in Australia? I've, I've lived here permanently in Alice Springs for 20 years. Wow. I'm originally from Florida in the USA. Okay. And if you come here earlier, you'll be seeing all my, all my American flags flying around yep. the place to let everybody know where the ankle is. You've gone from the beach to a long way from the beach. And this, this is, well actually this is the best place to be if you want, if you want to be close to all the beaches in Australia. This yep. is the best place. They're all equally distant, about a thousand kicks. <laughs> there you go. But it, yeah, I do miss the beach and uh, all that. One good thing about being here in the in the center, it's dry and a car like that will never, yep. never rust. All you gotta do is keep the water off it and it'll last forever. Could be something in that. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much for showing us your car.